Spider-Man! Don't let him get away! The cops! Where did they come from? They're after me! There he goes! That was too close! Got to make it to the rooftops! A voice calling to me! A voice I've heard before! That voice filled with such pain! I've got to find that voice! There he goes up the side of that building! Get a search letter! Can't hang around! The voice is fading, growing weaker! <laughs> Streets the wall. Still time to catch myself. I did it. No, <laughs> Spider-Man, I've come to pick your balls. The vulture. What are you doing here? Yours wasn't the voice that called me. No, the vulture perches where he pleases. <laughs> Got to get him. <laughs> <laughs> Away, you wall-crawling creep. Spider-Man only hides those who lie. How did you find out about? You mustn't tell. You mustn't. I'd never tell. <laughs> the vulture would never tell. <laughs> the vulture. He vanished. What's going on? Spider-Man. Spider-Man. That cry coming from all around me. I must find that voice. <laughs> now the lizard. Where did you come from? It wasn't you that called? The, the lizards never call. The lizards have been waiting since the island. That voice! I mustn't let you keep me from that voice. Get away! No! No, don't say that! Would have been saying that in your life? You're crazy! No! No! Can't you hear it? Calling to me? I have to know. <laughs> what does it matter? Spider-Man, you're a loser. The Green Goblin. It can't be. The Vulture, the Lizard, and now my most fearsome enemy, the only living creature that knows my secret identity? <laughs> Curling stun pumpkins. Spider-Man. You're a loser, Parker. No. You were born a loser. It isn't true. Spider-Man. That voice. Spider-Man. Must find that voice. <laughs> no. It isn't true. You're good. Have to go. <laughs> no. I can't stand it! I must find that voice! I'm coming! I'm coming! Don't go away! Don't leave me! Don't go away! I'm coming! I'm coming! Stop laughing! Don't go away! I'm coming! No! 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 No. No, don't go away. I'm coming. No! 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 Oh. Oh. I must have been dreaming. What time is it? The phone. Must answer the phone. <clears throat> Hello? Peter Parker? Yes, yeah, speaking. There's a charming lady here who wants to say hello to you, Parker. Petey, is that you, Petey? Aunt May! Aunt May, where are you? Are you all right? Hello? Aunt May? Are you there? Aunt May, are you all right? Don't worry, kid. She's just fine. The kingpin wouldn't hurt an old lady. Not unless he had to. Now listen, and listen good. I would appreciate a small favor. What do you want me to do? Nothing out of the ordinary. You're the kid that takes all those pictures of Spider-Man for the Daily Bugle. I simply want you to take a picture of Spider-Man for me. We even fixed up a special camera for the job. The thing is that this picture will be Spider-Man's last. You want me to murder Spider-Man? The Kingpin is not a murderer. I simply want you to eliminate a civic menace and perpetual piss. You 
You must be crazy. Yeah, call the kingpin crazy. Now listen, punk. You want to see the old lady alive? You'll do exactly as I tell you. I hang up the phone. You go to your front door. Outside, you'll find a package with a camera inside. You've got 24 hours to get the job done. And remember, no tricks. You want to see your Auntie May alive? Spider-Man must die. big hand is on the three, and the little hand is on the six. Uh, that's 36, boss. Soon that web-slinger will have slung his last web, and the city will be mine. New York is in for the biggest crime wave in history, and there is no one to stop me. No one to stop the kingpin. Pretty slick, kingpin. Nabbing the old lady and all that. Spider-Man will never suspect Parker. Hey. Nice old lady, boss. Reminds me of my mother. She's fast asleep. Hey, think she makes good lasagna, boss? Shut up and stay away from the old lady. I don't know, boss. Spider-Man's real smart, and this kid Parker, how do we know we can trust him? You dare Ow! question the word of the kingpin? Oh, I'm sorry, boss. I'm sorry. Sorry isn't enough. Get out. You're lucky I don't break in half, but I feel generous today. Oh. Get out while you're still alive. Okay, Kingpin, I'm going, okay. Now listen, I'm not called the Kingpin for nothing. I'm the boss, the boss of all bosses, and don't forget it. The Kingpin's the head of the Majya, the biggest crime syndicate around. I'm 300 pounds of solid muscle. I'm the smartest, and when I choose to be... I'm the meanest. No one can stand up to the power of the kingpin and live. Now get to work. I wonder what that punk Parker is up to now. Hey, Carlo. What time is it? Well, uh, the little hand is still on the six, but the big hand is moving with the eight, so uh, that's uh, 68. What have my spider powers ever brought but pain to those who love me? Somewhere down there, a frail old lady who never harmed anyone in her life 
He's going to die unless Peter Parker kills Spider-Man. Well, perhaps it is time for Spider-Man to die. Everything bad that ever happened to me was because of my secret identity. Because I am Spider-Man. But I wasn't born with spider powers. I wasn't born wearing a mask. Maybe the time has come to give it all up. Spider-Man's got to lose one of these days anyway. Huh. I hate to think back, to remember how it all began. When it all started, I never dreamed it could end this way. That fateful day at Midtown High seems light years away. It was a science lecture like any other, or so I thought. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your close attention, please. As these radioactive gamma rays crisscross against each other, we have what is generally referred to as gamma ray radioactivity. Uh, you'll notice, please, as the lower section of this... Molecule, it was a billion-to-one chance, an accident that couldn't happen. And yet, a lone spider, silently descending, was unwittingly subjected to a blast of powerful radiation. And minutes later, as it slowly lowered itself on a thin strand of webbing... Ow! What the blazes? Something bit me. It was a spider. Golly, why do I feel so strange? Walking home, I couldn't shake the odd sensation which tingled through my body. Then, as a couple of local creeps tried to pick a fight... Hey, look out, Mac. Sorry, uh, I... This will teach you to watch where you're walking, you four-eyed fall up! I... I hardly felt it. My reflex action worked so fast I couldn't control it. I snapped that steel lamppost in two with one punch. Let's get out of here. That cat's Something's a tiger. happening to me. I've changed, but how? Why? That car coming right at me. I have to leap aside. What's come over me? Am I going mad? I'm scaling this wall just as easily as I can walk. I'm like some sort of giant insect, like a wall-crawling human spider. I raced back to my room. A few simple tests, and I knew the answer. The spider bite had affected my blood. I had gained his powers. In the days that followed, I dreamed up my web shooter. With my spider power, I had superhuman aim and control. I could snare anything. Before long, I designed a costume. As I slipped my spider mask over my head for the first time, I remember the thrill that raced through my body. I only saw fame and fortune in my future. I felt free for the first time in my life. I turned towards the mirror, and Spider-Man was born. It's such a groove to be free. Leave my teenage troubles behind. Lay my past beneath a mask and climb to impossible heights. Never dream it could happen to me to finally be free of the clown that was holding me down painfully. But now I am free, unbelievably free. I only look down. The town that always gave nothing to me It's such a groove to be free Leave my teenage troubles behind Lay my past beneath the mask and fly Of the game, I'm the man of the hour, and so I'm free, amazingly free, free of. 
of the shame, of the pain No longer a man without power Such a groove to be free Leave my teenage troubles behind Lay my past beneath a mask And climb to impossible heights It's such a groove to be free At first, it was a real kick testing my spider powers. As I gained more confidence, there seemed to be nothing I couldn't do. I was sure that I had finally made it. Spider-Man became quite the celebrity. I was even signed to star on a coast-to-coast -coast television show. But as I swung into the studio... Stop him! Don't let him get away! Stop that thief! Oh, you let him get away. All you had to do was keep him from reaching the elevator. Sorry, pal. You're paid for catching bad guys. I'm not. Besides, I've more important things to do. Needless to say, I was a sensation. But minutes later, when I returned home, the bubble burst. Peter Parker? Why, yes, officer. What's the trouble? Now, brace yourself, son. I have bad news. Your Uncle Ben's been shot, murdered. Uncle Ben? Dead? No. No, it can't be true. Well, it was a burglar whom your uncle surprised. But we'll get him. He's trapped in the old Acme warehouse at the waterfront. The neighbors are looking after your aunt next door. And... Uncle Ben? He was more than a father to me. But he and Aunt May, they, they were the only family I ever had. I've got to go. I've got to get that burglar. <laughs> Come back, Parker. Come back. I know that old warehouse. It's been deserted for years. He could hold off an army in that moldy dump, but he won't hold off Spider-Man. There it is, right ahead. Over there in the shadows. It must be him. What the... I'm not in a costume. Well, whoever you are, this will stop you. How can you move so fast? My second shot will get you. You had it, rat. You'll never shoot anyone again. Because of you, my Uncle Ben is dead. Hey. Wait a minute. That face. I'd know it anywhere. You're the thief who ran past me at the TV studio. The one I allowed to escape. I'm as guilty as you are. Uncle Ben, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? We therefore commend his body to the ground. All through the funeral... As I stood in the gentle rain with my grieving Aunt May crying by my side, one thought kept haunting me. Because I didn't lift a finger to help catch a criminal, I was responsible for the murder of my Uncle Ben. And so then and there, as my tears mixed with the gentle spring rain, I made a vow that has tortured me through all the years that have followed. Never again would I refuse to use my spider powers whenever they could help the cause of justice. I vowed that as Spider-Man, I would spend the rest of my life making up for the death of Uncle Ben. Time is running out. You've got to decide now, Parker. 
Aunt May is the only family you've got. She's devoted her life to you. Spider-Man's brought you nothing but grief and suffering. You've got to find the Kingpin. Give yourself up. Make a deal. Yet something inside won't let me quit. I can't get that nightmare out of my head. I can still hear that voice calling to me. Who was it? What did he want? It was Uncle Ben. It was Uncle Ben's voice. He must have been trying to tell me something. But what? How? What was it Uncle Ben used to tell me? I remember. He used to say, Petey, never forget. The stronger the man, the heavier the load. With great power comes great responsibility. I can't quit. Sane, insane, loved, hated, it doesn't matter. A man might quit, but Spider-Man is more than a man. I'm a superhero. I must fight on, no matter the personal sacrifice, because that's what being a superhero is all about. First I find Aunt May, and then I deal with the Kingpin. Let's get it on, webhead. sense. It's beginning to tingle. 
So strong, and yet I haven't moved. What's going on? I hear someone talking, but there's no one here. While in my astral form, I am invisible. Astral form? You will follow me. Come, we must hurry. Follow you? I can't even see you. Quiet, my young friend. You have no choice. I, uh, I feel like a puppet guided by invisible strings. The sensation will pass. We have almost reached our destination. Now that my astral form has returned to merge with my physical being, I grant you welcome, Spider-Man. You didn't even turn around. How did you know I was here? Not for nothing am I called Dr. Strange, Master of the Mystic Arts. In the name of the omnipotent Oshtur, I greet you and bid you watch carefully. There is much you must know and little time to tell it. Doctor Strange, of course I should have known. Now be silent and behold what is revealed by the eye of Agamotto. It's her. It's May Parker. Is she all right? Her heart. Quiet. Lest you break the spell. Come on, lady. The kingpin wants to see you. Get your hands off me, you brute. Who do you think you are? Ow! Hey, get back. He wants it. Hey, hey boss, 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 get this whole floozy off me. I'll show you what I think of your kind. Ow! Threaten my peaty, will you? Take that. Oh. And that. Ow! I may look like the image is fading. We've seen enough. It is time we strike. We? Yes, my friend, we. By the seven rings of Ragador, you shall not fight alone. I have seen too much. I have donned my cloak of levitation. Let us journey together. Right you are, Doc. Let's head cross town. Going cross town, gonna brawl tonight. Gonna kick a tail or two. Teach a bad dude a lesson that he better stop messing with the lights of me and you. Cause we got the power to turn wrong right. If we get together and stand up and fight. Going cross town, gonna roll tonight. Gonna kick a tail or two. Secret headquarters. It's in the abandoned sewer line directly beneath Times Square. The perfect hideout for the kingpin, right under our noses. This is 
the extreme and careful. If Parker's ass sees our attack, the shock may be too much for her heart. Right on the beam, Doc. I will weave a spell that will put her into a death-like sleep. Demons of darkness, from the depths of the deep, your master commands you. Let her eyes close in sleep. Kingpin? How Kingpin knew you too, Ten? Oh! Boss, I... I think the old lady's had it. Good. Save us the trouble. Bring her in the back. I've come for you, Kingpin. It's Spider-Man. Get him. You have to be better than that if you want to catch this spider, boys. Dr. Strange, get the old lady out of here. Get that creep in the cloak. Fools! You dare attack Dr. Strange. Demons of darkness. It's gone. Hey, let's get out of here. That guy's crazy. Get back here, you idiots. I'll teach you to run out on the kingpin. They shan't go far. Take care of your business, my friend. I will return. So, Spider-Man, we meet again. Can the small talk, fat man, and let's get it on. Maestro, if you will. Oh, he sighs to see me. Forgot how fast he can move. Slow down, Spidey. Keep it cool. Not bad, Tubby, but not good enough. Tubby, I'll show you who's Tubby. He had a stun blaster in his cane. Afraid to fight like a man. Well, now it's my turn to raise some cane, lard bottom. I'll squash you like a bug. Got to do better than that to squash this spider. <clears throat> Gas charge in his tie pin. He's trying to get away. Only a fool sticks around when it's better to flee. Maybe this web girdle will slow you down. Do you think your puny webbing can contain the kingpin? We'll meet again, Spider-Man, but next time, I'll pick the plate. Not so fast, Kingpin. Your kind must be taught a lesson. Lord of the depths, grant this request. This man who has sinned, make him your guest. Poor but the kingpin is erupted in flame. That laugh, the stench of brimstone. The kingpin is being drawn down. It's horrible. I can't watch. I must do something. Even the kingpin. Spider-Man, do not interfere. No! No! <laughs> that was horrible. Doctor Strange, how could you do such a thing, even to the kingpin? Who are you to question the wisdom of Doctor Strange? There are more things at work than you could possibly understand. But so that you will not think less of me, I will tell you this much. The kingpin has been swallowed by an illusion. An illusion brought to life by the concept of justice, harbored in his own mind. Perhaps he will return one day. If so, let us hope that he will realize his folly and change his way of living. Doctor Strange is not a man of violence. I deal only with those powers that be. And now, farewell. One question, Doc, before you go. How did you know? While in my trance, a silent call came to me from beyond the grave. A call I could not fail to heed. Sensing your dilemma, I had to act. Once again, Doc, I'm beholden to you. Enough said. There is a time to stay, and a time to say farewell. But before I leave, I must ask that you deliver a message to your friend, Peter Parker. Tell him, please, that his Uncle Ben is very proud of him today. Strange man, that doctor. 
Well, I'd better get out of this crummy costume and pick up Aunt May. It's been one long day. I've always felt guilty about the death of Uncle Ben, but I think maybe I'll sleep a little better tonight. Come on, Spidey. It's time to crawl home. Mm-hmm.